Today in crypto, Stellar buys minority stake in MoneyGram, added as in Bape reveal limited sneakers auction via NFT passes, three key Silvergate execs set to leave the company. Get your daily, bite-sized digest of crypt asset and blockchain-related news, investigating the stories flying under the radar of today's crypto news. Investment News The Stellar Development Foundation SCF became a minority investor in payments provider MoneyGram International. CEO and Executive Director Danell Dixon announced on Tuesday. The decision to provide funds to MoneyGram was an easy one, Dixon said. According to the blog post, the investment was made out of SDF's cash treasury, using the assets set aside to support the SDF operations, rather than the enterprise fund used to invest in startups and earlier stage companies. It is the first investment of its kind made from SDF's treasury, she added. Dixon also got a seat on MoneyGram International's board of directors representing the SDF. Layer 1 Blockchain's Ada Chain closed a $27 million equity funding round from a range of participants, including Blockchain. Com. Human Capital, VY Capital, Skyline Capital, Jane Street Capital, Vista Labs, CMT Digital, Foundation Capital, Lingfeng Capital, GSR, QSI, Crust, and others. Zeta Chain's purpose is to simplify managing assets and data across multiple blockchains, which remains a complicated and fragmented process that's hindering hundreds of millions of new users joining the Web3 ecosystem, said Ankur Nanwani, Zeta Chain core contributor. Our EVM-compatible cross-chain smart contracts alleviate these issues by allowing decentralized app developers to build services that are faster, more secure, and easy to use. Metaverse News Major apparel brands added as originals and Bape revealed the highly limited Forum 84 Bape Low Triple White Sneaker. Supported by the added as slash 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 studio, 3 Stripe Studio and in partnership with the crypto payments infrastructure. Provider MoonPay, the limited number of sneakers will be auctioned off and paired with the non-fungible token NFT version. The 100 holders of the Adidas Originals X Bape Fresh Forum Access Pass NFT will be able to redeem the complimentary physical pair of the Adidas X Bape Forum Low 84 Triple White Sneakers and Digital Twin via Adidas Collect on September 26, said the announcement. Career News Crypto-friendly bank Silvergate CEO Alan Lane, Chief Legal Officer John Benino, and Chief Financial Officer Antonio Martino are set to leave the company amid the ongoing liquidation and lawsuits. According to an August 15 filing to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, the bank's parent company Silvergate Capital said that the departures are a part of its previously disclosed plan to wind down the operations of and voluntarily liquidate Silvergate Bank not due to a dispute. The three executives will not be entitled to any further compensation under their respective employment agreements, but each will receive certain severance benefits provided to bank employees being discharged in the course of the bank liquidation, it added. Banking News Capital Bank and Ravnak Bank, both private banks in Uzbekistan, received approval from the National Agency for Prospective Projects NAP to participate in the digital sandbox of crypto regulation. The two will issue crypto cards, called as NEX, powered by MasterCard, said the press release. These are two of the only three registered participants in the National Digital Sandbox with the information and communication. Technologies use Infocom being the third. Payments News The Central Bank of Ireland approved MoonPay Technology Services Limited's application for registration as a virtual asset service provider VASP to provide the activity of exchange between virtual assets and fiat currencies, the announcement stated. With this new approval in Ireland, we are excited to make our mark in the country, said CEO Ivan Soda Wright. Exchange News SIX Digital Exchange SDX became the first private distributed ledger technology DLT-based financial market infrastructure to adopt the Digital Token Identifier Foundation DTIF Manage ISO 24165 DTI standard, said the press release. The financial industry is increasingly adopting the DTI ISO standard, a unique identifier for digital ledgers, tokens, and cryptocurrencies which regulators can use to watch digital asset trades, ensure compliance with anti-money laundering and counterterrorism financing requirements, and monitor risks associated with global stablecoins and other digital assets, it explained. Head of Digital Securities Alex Ketch stated that SDX uses DTIs to identify currently cryptocurrencies and soon digital securities on our platform. The last will be even more critical as we start exploring issuance or administration of digital securities on private and public blockchains. Security News Swirl Lend, a lending project operating on the Ethereum Layer 2 network's base and Linea, reportedly executed an exit scam, taking some $460,000 in user deposits. The team drained $290,000 in crypto from base and $170,000 from Linea, transferring the funds to Ethereum per security firm PeckShield. Swirl Lend rugged both on base and Linea. The scammer has already bridged till the 94 ETH from Linea to Ethereum via Orbiter Finance. Bridge and is currently in the process of transferring the stolen funds from base to Ethereum, Peck Shield said on Wednesday.